The Outsiders was produced in March 1983 by Zoetrope Studios, with a PG certificate and a running time of an hour and 31 minutes. The story was written by Kathleen Rowell from the novel by S. E. Hinton, and the movie was produced by Francis Ford Coppola. The total budget for the movie was around $10 million, and it made more than $25 million worldwide. A teen gang in rural Oklahoma, the Greasers, are perpetually at odds with the Socials, a rival group. When Greasers Ponyboy and Johnny get into a brawl that ends in the death of a Social member, the boys are forced to go into hiding. Soon, Ponyboy and Johnny, along with the intense Dallas and their other Greaser buddies, must contend with the consequences of their violent lives. While some Greasers try to achieve redemption, others meet tragic ends. C. Thomas Howell was born in 1966 and plays the main character role of Michael Curtis, nicknamed Ponyboy, who is with Johnny when Bob is killed. Howell also appeared in the 80s grades E.T. and Red Dawn. Better known as part of the movie's production team, Daniel Suhart was born in 1952 and played the small part of the orderly in the movie. Born in 1965, Darren Dalton played Marcy's boyfriend and Bob's best friend Randy Anderson. Darren has also appeared in Red Dawn and 2009's The Land That Time Forgot. Diane Lane was born in 1965 and plays the part of Sherry, Cherry Valance, who acts as a spy for the Greasers. Diane has also appeared in Judge Dredd and Chaplin. Born in 1962, Emilio Estevez is the eldest son of Hollywood great Martin Sheen and plays the character Keith Two-Bit Matthews. Part of the famous 80s Brat Pack, Emilio has starred in a whole string of blockbuster movies including The Breakfast Club, St Elmo's Fire and Young Guns. Gaylord Sartain was born in 1946 and appears as Jerry Wood, the teacher who takes Ponyboy to the hospital after the fire. A former star on the country music variety show Hee Haw, Gaylord has also appeared in Fried Green Tomatoes and Mississippi Burning. Born in 1953, Glenn Withrow plays the role of Tim Shepard, the leader of another gang of greasers and friend of Darry. Glenn has also appeared in Rumblefish, but has recently turned his hand to producing, such as The Last Champion. John Mayer was born in 1942 and played Darry's friend and former football teammate Paul. Stuntman John has appeared on Star Trek First Contact, We Were Soldiers and Jurassic World. Born in 1961, former skateboard superstar Liv Garrett played the part of Bob Sheldon who died after trying to drown Ponyboy in a fountain. Leaf has previously enjoyed life as a teen idol before struggling with drug abuse and legal troubles. Hollywood icon Matt Dillon was born in 1964 and plays the part of Dallas Dally Winston, the roughest and most volatile of the Greasers. One time heartthrob Matt has appeared in There's Something About Mary, Drugstore Cowboy and Crash. Michelle Mayring was born in 1962 and plays the part of Cherry's friend Marcia. Michelle has also appeared in Revenge of the Nerds and Real Genius. Born in 1952, Patrick Swayze played the unofficial leader of the Greasers, Daryl Darry Curtis. Patrick most famously appeared in Ghost and Dirty Dancing, and sadly passed away from cancer in 2009. Born in 1961, Ralph Macho played the part of the Ponyboy's best friend Johnny Cade. Ralph is most famous for being the Karate Kid, and as a result has recently starred in the Cobra Kai TV show. Former teen heartthrob Rob Lowe was born in 1964 
and played soda pop Curtis, the middle brother of Ponyboy and Dowie. Rob is not just a pretty face, and has appeared in movies as diverse as St Elmo's Fire, Wayne's World and Contact. Born in 1948, the author of the original novel, S.E. Hinton, had a small part in the movie playing the nurse. She wrote the book when she was just 15 years old. Born in 1971, director Francis Ford Coppola's daughter Sophia plays the part of the little girl that comes over to Dally, Ponyboy and Johnny. Sophia has also appeared in The Godfather Part 3 and Lost in Translation. Needing no introduction, Tom Cruise was born in 1962 and plays fellow greaser Steve Randall, who works with Soda Pop at the gas station. We all know Tom and have surely seen at least one of his many movies, whether it be Jerry Maguire, Top Gun or Mission Impossible. Tom Hillman had a small part in the movie playing the greaser in the concession stand. He has also appeared in CSI and most recently The Right Stuff. Born in 1949, famous beatnik musician Tom Waits plays Dally's rodeo partner Buck Merrill. Tom has actually appeared in a number of movies, including Down by Law, Shortcuts, and Seven Psychopaths. Trey Calloway has a small part in the movie as a social gang member. Trey is now a producer and writer, best known for his work on CSI New York, Revolution, and Rush Hour. Born in 1933, William Smith, no, not Will Smith, played the role of the store clerk, who has a gun stuck in his face. Smith has also appeared in Any Which Way You Can and Red Dawn. 